It does really look like the one that Foxy just has, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Ah, you ho ho hoes. <laughs> Says jingle all the way. <gasps> Run! Oh my god, he's got the long hair as well. Remember what was going on in that film? not be alarmed by the state of my hair. I'm going to the hairdressers later today so I haven't bothered straightening it and trying to do anything at all with it. I've got it up in a Christmas scrunchie but you probably can't see it but it is a Christmas one. Um, yes I've got an appointment at three o'clock today to get my hair cut finally because I haven't been able to get it trimmed or cut for a few weeks due to the second lockdown. I'm just getting my shoes on, which is why I'm at this very awkward angle, because I'm off to the post office. Um, I didn't get to do it the other day, so I'm going today. Today's Thursday, by the way. I didn't film yesterday because I filmed a podcast, a knitting and crochet podcast on Little Drops of Wonderful. And from my experience, filming a vlog and a podcast on the same day can get quite stressful. <laughs> so I'm going to get my bits together, get my scarf on, get my coat on, jump in the car and go and run some errands. I've got to, after the post office, I've got to go and pick some stuff up for Lilia's requested pom-poms for a present that she's making for her boyfriend. And there's a couple of other things I've just got to go and pick up. So I'm gonna go and run around and do all those things now. Dan and I went to bed really late last night, which is not like us. We're usually in bed just before 11. And um, we didn't go to bed till about 10 to midnight because we were, we were watching The Mountain Between Us. We'd had a DVD that we borrowed from my stepmom and I want to take it back to her. So we thought, oh, we'll, wa we'll watch it so we can give it back to her when we see her over that period over Christmas when we were allowed to mix. Um, and it was awful. <laughs> but we watched it right to the end because we kept thinking it might get better. But it was dreadful. What an awful film. Oh. So we went to bed late for no good reason, really. Right, stop wittering. Get your coat on. Hello and welcome to Happy Place. I've just arrived in the Aldi's car park, which is where I'm going to park because um, it's free whilst I go to the post office. There is something wrong with the balance of the world today. As I was coming out of my road, a parent in a giant 4x4, me and my tiny little Toyota, who had used one of the side roads, which is actually a private road, as a cut through because they were obviously running late to drop her very quite old looking child to school who probably could have walked. Um, she cut through there, swung out and just drove at me as I was coming down a narrow bit of the road where it's only one way, uh, you can only fit one car. And I slammed my brakes on, stalled my car because, you know, to avoid hitting her. And then she just uh, sat there and expected me to reverse about five car lengths back so she could get through. Uh, and didn't even say thank you. And then as I was coming into town, I was coming through a filter lane um, on a green light and you filter and go left. And a jogger who was um, crossing the road on a red light because the pedestrian light was red, ran out in front of me and then shouted at me. It's been that kind of morning. So I think what I'm going to do is go to the post office and the other shops I need to go to. And I'm gonna be the nicest I can possibly be to everyone I meet to see if we can get that balance shifted back a bit because people are seeming a bit grumpy for no reason. Let's go and see if we can sort it out. <laughs> Quantity needed. How would select payments type? <laughs> Please insert your card. <laughs> Please take your presents and get them all wrapped up for Christmas. Oh, the hair 
just keeps getting worse and worse. I am home, I've just unpacked the shopping. I bought some chocolate limes because I haven't seen them anywhere in ages. If you don't know what chocolate limes are, they're a hard boiled sweet that's lime flavoured but they've got chocolate in the middle like an eclair. <laughs> they're really weird. So I've got those to put in the glove box of Dan's car for when we're out and about and doing days out and stuff. So I've got chocolate limes to, to have and to hand out. And now I'm starving, it's only 11 o'clock. So I'm gonna have a really early lunch, a brunch, if you will. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pack a load more of the stuff away, edit the Q&A video that Dan and I did quite a while ago now, so that I can put that up on Little Drops of Wonderful. And, uh, and then I've got my hair cut, thank goodness. <laughs> it's getting desperate. Did quite well with getting teacher gifts. These bags are from Poundland, they're really nice. I got them some recycled paper notebooks with like a cork cover. Anyway, I'm adjusting the camera because I want to show you something. So first of all, I wanted to show you these. Every year, for years, my cousin um, in Aberdeen, uh, all of my mum's side of the family are in Aberdeen, um, sent us a Scottish Christmas card and my mum as well uh, from the shop where she worked, which has since uh, gone under, unfortunately. It doesn't exist anymore. But they sold these really cool little handmade Scottish cards and every year I kept them and my mum kept hers to give to me. I used to display them every year but I, you know, I don't feel I have the time at the moment. So they've all got a verse written in a kind of Doric which is the dialect that they speak in Aberdeen. Shall I translate one for you? Well, here's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, you know how the story goes. He led the way for Santa with his bright and shiny nose. Then, one frosty Christmas morning, he thought he'd have some porridge. He stuck his nose in by mistake. And look now, Rudolph Scottish. And there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> here's another one. Happy Christmas memories. Okay, so the translation here. Do you remember a Christmas long ago when we were little? There were no phones or laptops in the presents underneath the tree and we were happy with a jigsaw, an annual or a game, a dolly for the girls and for the boys a train. And then if we were lucky, a big selection box, then sometimes not so lucky, your granny's knitted socks. Nothing wrong with your granny's knitted socks. And then here's uh, the Abedonian version of We Three Kings. <laughs> I won't read it out because my um, Aberdonian accent's appalling. I can say it says, O star of wonder, shining bright, lighting the way in the dark winter night, a joy to the... A joy to the Aeon, a sight to be seen. What's a joy to the Aeon? I actually don't know what that word is. I don't know this one. A joy to the... I don't know. A sight to be seen from Glasgow to Aberdeen. <laughs> so that's my little collection of Scottish cards and I absolutely love them. I'm not going to put them up this year but um, I might try and find a permanent way of making them into like a, uh, a, a string of bunting, Scottish Christmas bunting. <laughs> The other thing I wanted to show you was this. This is a family tradition. We do it every year and we started it in, in 2009 we started it. And every year at Christmas, whoever's there for Christmas day or around that time will write in the Christmas book. And we put pictures in. This is the year that Phoebe arrived. And we all write um, our version of a little paragraph or two about Christmas falling apart now I need to I need to conduct some um, repairs and we always put our age exactly as in here you can see in 2013 I was 36 and a half <laughs> and then I would save little bits from like the crackers and things like ribbons and things or particular Christmas cards that made us laugh or just little decorations or here I've just cut out a bit of the napkins that we used <laughs> to remind us and the pictures of things we did. This is when we went and saw Santa on the Santa train. I kept the tickets and there we all are 
seeing Santa in 2017. <laughs> so yeah, we do this every year. Uh, when we started it, we had no idea that we'd keep it up, but we always have. And there's been Christmases where we've had more people, Christmases where we've had less people, Christmases where the girls have got really creative. Oh, this is the Christmas last year when we attempted to make Danish woven hearts. <laughs> so I stuck those in as well. And there's a blank page ready for this year. I wonder what memories will be on those pages. Finally, I wanted to show you something I bought recently on Etsy. I'll just get it out of the cellophane. By the way, this is good, isn't it? Look. Very good, I was impressed with that. So it's from a company on Etsy in the UK called Cottage RTS. There we go, hand designed stationery, greeting cards and gift wrap. Now I was doing a Christmas letter swap and I also had a couple of other letters I wanted to write. Here's their details. And I wanted some Christmas writing paper and I'd actually had a bit of trouble trying to find it. And then I found this on Etsy and I was really impressed um, with it. It arrived like this with a little band around it. And for every five sheets of, no, what was it? For every two sheets of paper, you get an envelope. And there's two designs. There's this one. That's the bottom of the page with the Christmas logs. Oh no, it's not logs, is it? I think that is cinnamon. Cinnamon wrapped in glittery foliage. And then the other one is one at the top of the page and it's a Christmas wreath. So I've written a few letters to people using this lovely paper and it just, yeah, it was just a bit special and it wasn't expensive either. So I just wanted to share that because I haven't come across something quite like that before and I was really impressed with it. My hairdresser just called to say she's ready now. So I'm going to head down there about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, actually, it's a full half hour earlier. So that's good. I'll be get out and done sooner. And this mess will be sorted out sooner as well. <laughs> I've had it all cut off. It feels a bit weird at the moment. I'm beginning to wonder if I might have gone a bit too short. But in about three, three weeks, it will have all bedded down a bit. What do you think? I need to learn how to curl it so I can have it in nice kind of wavy bits. It's gonna be so much easier to wash, so much easier to straighten. Ah, oh. oh, it feels weird. I've got no hair. <laughs> oh, I can't get used to it. I look weird. <laughs> But I'm just going to go and get changed, then yeah, I'm going to make I'm everyone a... Oh, Phoebe really likes it. I'm going to go and get quickly changed, then we're going to make some mince pies and have some hot chocolate and open events. Christmas magic. I'm gonna hold it up to the camera. Because that's a new album. Plus, Bryony would have just been yapping. Oh, that, that is pretty, isn't it? I was thinking, do you two want some striped mittens each with all the yarns? Yes, I do. I could make the BTS mitts that Kay designed. Yes. Would you want the lace pattern? Yes, I would. I'm gonna open my advent for my friend Sarah as well. And I'm not sure if I mentioned, but she sent it um, in all these parcels with the holes punch. 
And then the stick that they're hanging on is a piece of driftwood that she found herself and she put it all together so I could assemble my own hanging advent calendar. <laughs> so that's why it's hanging up there, I love it. And uh, I'm gonna open one now. So Phoebe, she'll be off to bed in about an hour, but she's going to do the sleeps till Christmas because we haven't quite put up all our decorations because we've still got the dining room decorations, which we'll do over the next few days. And in that box was our sleeps till Christmas sign. How many sleeps is it, Phoebe? It is. Oh, very neat. Indeed. <laughs> there we go. Fifteen sleeps till Christmas. Fifteen sleeps till Christmas. Right, I'm going to sign off for today. So, the song of today is going to be, it's a really good, uplifting, God, I look tired. <laughs> Don't look at me, look at the tree. There you go. Um, uplifting, lovely Christmas song that I always have on my Christmas playlists and I really, really enjoy it. And it is by Leona Lewis and it is One More Sleep. Is it just One More Sleep or One More Sleep, sleep Till Christmas? I will put it on the playlist for you so that on Spotify and it will be linked below so you can go and listen to it. So that's the song of the day. The film of the vlog is going to be... It's not actually a Christmas film, but there's a bit of a story behind it. So it's going to be, well, it's a collection of films, really. You've Got Mail, which is the film of Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. It's not really a Christmas film, although there is a Christmas parts to it. But it's based on one of my favourite films of all time. Did you just see the lights go off then? That's because, there you go. They're on a tight, after seven hours, they switch themselves off. And you have to turn the plugs off. And turn it back on again. Yes, yeah, so You've Got Mail is actually a remake of the film um, The Shop Around the Corner, which is one of my favourite films. It's Jimmy Stewart, and that is set in Russia at Christmas. <laughs> Pay no attention to the girl behind the Christmas tree. Um, and yeah, so for that reason, that's why I've chosen it. There's chosen it, and there's also a really good bit in You've Got Mail where they're all singing the Christmas song, where they have to sing the parts of the different instruments. If you've seen the film, you'll know you'll know what I mean. Uh, but if you can, I don't know if it's available anywhere or where you can get it. I've got it on DVD. But if you can watch the shop around the corner, it's such a lovely film. I love Jimmy Stewart, and um, yeah. So the film of the vlog is You've Got Mail slash. The shop around the corner and with are you still lurking by the tree would you like to say good night vlog good night vlog good night vlog <laughs> good night vlog <laughs>
It's the 11th. 11th! Oh, Good morning, it is Friday. We've made it to the end of the week. Um, I'm working today, Dan is working today. So I'll be working, well, obviously we're both working at home at the moment, so I'm working at the desk in the kitchen where we have the family computer and he's working from his work laptop at the table. He's a lovely husband, but he's not a great work colleague. <laughs> he types really noisily. <laughs> So I'm going to make a cup of tea now and get my head down and get stuck in, basically. And that's about it for today. It's going to be work and then, well, obviously Friday night is pizza night. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to opening our advents later and so on. All right, tea, work. <laughs> Time, although only a millisecond will have probably passed on the vlog. I'm going to make a very simple and quick lunch and have a Diet Coke. I've had my head down so much that I can't, can't believe that it's now 20 past 12. It's gone so quickly and I've still got loads to do, but it's fine. I feel productive. Right, lunch. school run. Phoebe still needs to get changed and you need to do that very soon. She's just having a snack and we're going to do the song of today. You don't know what it is do you? You know who he is? Yeah! The song is Merry Christmas Darling by Leslie Odom Jr because Leslie Odom Jr plays Aaron Burr in Hamilton and we absolutely love the musical Hamilton. Oh yes that's exactly right. So the song is Merry Christmas Darling which is a song I'm sure you all know but it's the version done by Leslie Odom Jr. who has a, two Christmas albums, not just one, but two. And he played the character of Aaron Burr in Aaron Burr. Hamilton, Sorry. the one that um, was filmed for the Disney, uh, well, the, the one that Disney had the rights to on the Go watch it. Disney on Plus. Disney Plus. Yeah. And we absolutely love it. And he's got a Disney beautiful Plus. voice and it's a really, really lovely version of that song. So that's it. It's on the Spotify playlist right now. I've just done it. And that's the song of the day. And before we get started on all the madness of the evening, Phoebe's got her tutor at four o'clock and then they're off to pick up their badges and other things from their brownies leaders because it's the last one tonight. Yeah, we made them gifts for. Yeah, we've got some little gifts to give to them because they do fantastic work, the brownie leaders. Um, and then it'll be pizza and a film. Nice Christmas film tonight. Do we know which one we're watching? Not yet, I'd say. Yes. Do you want to say that a bit quieter? 
<laughs> Elf again. I actually haven't watched it. I know you and Lily have watched it, but I haven't watched it yet. So, um, yeah, that's it. So that's it for this vlog. We'll see you in a few days. Until then, have a happy festive time. Remember to eat apples and brush your teeth.